And welcome to Once Upon a Time Storytime here at San Bruno Library. My name is Miss Rocky and today I'm going to be doing a story time for babies. Yes, today a story time is going to be for you and your baby. So if you have a baby, go get your baby. Or if you're your little girl and have a pretend baby, bring that pretend baby with you because we're going to have fun today. Did you know that the more you read and sing and rock your baby and talk to your baby, they become smarter each and every day. And today, I'm going to be recreating a baby story time that we do here at San Bruno Library. And the story time today is inspired by an early learning program called Mother Goose on the Loose that was created by Betsy Diamant Cohenen. And so part of this baby story time is not only for babies, but it's also for you to enjoy and take home and do another day in the comforts of your own home. So here's my baby and if you want you can have your baby facing me or facing you, whatever you prefer. Some of these songs are for sitting in a chair and some of the songs are for sitting on the floor. The most important thing is to read to your baby because I always say it's never too early to read to your baby. When you read to your baby, you are teaching them how to handle a book and how to, how to flip the pages. And they become early readers as they get older. So we're gonna start with our first song and it's called Good Morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. And this is a great song to sing while your baby is waking up. So you're gonna hold your baby and we're gonna bounce her back and forth from one knee to another. Let's begin. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air, and down to the ground. Great. Let's do that again. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air, and down to the ground. Well job. Great. Let's do another song, and this is called Goosey Goosey Gander, and we're going to repeat the song because babies love repetition and if you don't know by now you soon will know that babies love for you to repeat their favorite songs and read their favorite books over and over again so let's do goosey goosey gander goosey goosey gander where do you wander upstairs and downstairs and in my parents chamber let's do that again Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my parents' chamber. Very good. Now we just taught your baby what up and down means with the movements of them themselves going up and down. Now we're going to teach your baby how to open and shut their hands and clap them as well with the song, Open, Shut Them. Open, shut them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them in your lap 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 great let's do that again open shut them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them in your lap, lap, lap. Very good. 
All right, so let's start with our first story. And this is one of my favorite stories that I read at Baby Story Time. And it's called Baby Knows Best by Kathy Henderson. We gave the baby rattles and we gave her things with bells. She's got toys that roll and click and tick and there's one that sings as well. She's got a sorting box that whistles and a squeaky mouse to squeeze. And what does she want to play with? The front door keys. She's got a cloth book about farms that's full of ducks and pigs and goats. She's got my old book of nursery rhymes and a plastic book that floats. She's got books with cardboard pages and bright pictures just for her. And what does she want to look at? The newspaper, of course. Grandpa brought a bath toy. She's got sieves that's got sieves, scoops inside. He brought a wind-up swimming hippo with a mouth that opens wide. She already had a tugboat and a duck-shaped glug-glug jug. But what does she want at bath time? The old bath plug. She's got dungarees and trousers. She's got diapers, tights, and socks. She's got a bright pink quilted snowsuit and two flower patterned smocks. She's got more clothes than we have. And though she's very small, what does she like wearing best? Nothing at all. We mash up ripe bananas and turn carrots into soup. We buy jars of special baby mush and powdered packet gloop. We give her teething rusks and finger food, but she just drops the lot. Cause what do you think she wants to eat? What we've got. She has a stroller and a backpack and a carriage up on wheels. Then there's her car seat with the handle and the string of colored bells and her high chair and the bouncer and the crib. There's all of this stuff. And where does she want to be? Snuggled up with us. Baby knows best. That's a great book. Okay, so now we're gonna do some more bouncy songs. Bouncy songs, body movement songs. We wanna teach baby where their fingers are, where their toes are. We want them to be comfortable with their bodies. So we're gonna start with fingers like to wiggle waggle. Ready? Fingers like to wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Fingers like to wiggle waggle way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way down low. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. Great. Now let's do that again. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way down low. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. Excellent. Let's do another song and it's called Can You Kick With Two Feet? And we're gonna move baby's feet, kick it up and down on your lap or on the floor. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. 
Can you wave with two arms, two arms, two arms? Can you wave with two arms? Wave, 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 wave. Can you kiss with two lips, two lips, two lips? Can you kiss with two lips? Kiss, 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 kiss. Can you sway from side to side, side to side, side to side? Can you sway from side to side? Sway, 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 sway. Very good. Let's do another fun song. And this is a tickling song and gentle tickling rhymes. Like I, like I said before, it helps babies be comfortable with their bodies. And this one's called, Here Are Baby's Fingers. Here are baby's fingers. Here are baby's toes, and here is baby's tummy button, and round and round and round and round it goes. Let's do that again. Here are baby's fingers, here are baby's toes, and here is baby's tummy button, and round and round and round and round it goes. Very good. Babies love, like I said, repetition, and singing these songs over and over again will not only help you, remember the songs, but it will help them learn new words each time you sing to them the songs over and over again. So let's do one last song, and we're gonna do Two Little Bluebirds Sitting on a Hill. And this is gonna teach them what uh, soft and loud means when we sing the second verse of this song. And we're gonna make them fly away. Two little bluebirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Now we're gonna sing, we're gonna give them different names. The birds are now gonna be called soft and loud. Two little bluebirds sitting on a cloud, one named soft and the other name loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud. Come back soft, come back loud. Great, that's another fun song to sing. Now, remember, you could always have your baby facing you or you can face each other in a mirror. And like I said, this is for all of you mommies, daddies, and caregivers to take with you to learn new songs and new rhymes in the com and you can sing them in the comforts of your own home. So we're gonna take a break and when we come back, we're gonna read more stories and we're gonna sing more songs and do more body rhymes and have lots of fun with your baby. So we'll see you soon. Why do you like San Bruno Cable? I like that it's the same people at the counter. Oh, and they also know me by name. I like that it's a local business and it keeps the money in our community. I had a problem with my channels and I called and they came out that same day. I didn't even have to sign a contract. The other guys wanted me for two whole years. When I called to set up my cable service, they asked if they could come out the next day. I thought I'd have to wait a week for an appointment. Thank you for choosing San Bruno Cable. In 1988, our dear friend Paul Newman had a vision. A place where kids with serious illnesses could just be kids. So he founded a camp. And the joy of playing, laughing, and simply belonging had a profound effect. Freeing the children to reach beyond their illnesses and discover new strength. From that one camp, the Serious Fund Children's Network has grown, serving 30,000 kids globally every year. At no cost to their families. Please donate today to help change a child's life. Visit SeriousFundNetwork.org. 
You know the old saying, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, it may look that way, but when you get up close, it's all weeds and stickers. Those big company TV providers may have great introductory offers, but read the fine print. Do you have to sign a long-term contract? Do they offer free service calls? And just how high do their rates go after the limited time offer expires? At San Bruno Cable, you sign no long-term contract. Our rates are easy to understand without surprises, and if you experience a problem, we offer free service calls on the next business day. Thank you for choosing San Bruno Cable. Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Time Storytime at San Bruno Library. And today I'm doing a baby story time. So, a story time for you and your baby. And if you're a little boy or a little girl and you have a doll that you want to watch this baby story time with, Please bring your babies, you mommies and daddies and caregivers. This is all for you to have fun and learn and to enjoy in the comforts of your own home. So we're going to do another song, another body movement song, and it's called We Hit the Floor Together. So some of these songs are for to be on the floor. So I'm just going to hit my knees. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together because it's fun to do. We wave our arms together. We wave our arms together. We wave our arms together because it's fun to do. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together because it's fun to do. We clap our hands together, we clap our hands together, we clap our hands together because it's fun to do. We sway from side to side, we sway from side to side, we sway from side to side because it's fun to do. We wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together because it's fun to do. Great! Another body movement song, which is always fun for the babies. Now, I'm going to read another story. One of my little girl's favorite stories, who she had me read this to her over and over again. And it's called Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes. And while you read the story to your baby, this is the perfect opportunity to show your baby where their fingers are and where their toes are. Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes by Mem Fox. There was one little baby who was born far away. And another who was born on the very next day. And both of these babies as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. There was one little baby who was born in a town and another who was wrapped in an eider down. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. There was one little baby who was born in the hills and another who suffered from sneezes and chills. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. There was one little baby who was born on the ice and another in a tent who was just as nice. And both of these babies, 
as everyone knows, had 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. But the next baby born was truly divine, a sweet little child who was mine all mine. And this little baby as everyone knows, has 10 little fingers, 10 little toes, and three little kisses on the tip of its Nose. The end. Ten little fingers and ten little toes. All right. Okay, so you may think that some of these stories are really long and baby's not ready for these big picture books, but you will be amazed. The more you read to your baby, the bigger their attention span becomes. So I always recommend that you read them these big picture books at an early age and bring them to story time because that's what helps them increase their attention span and also enjoy being read to and reading and just having fun with books and, and at the library. You're inspiring a reader and that's what we want to do here. So today we're going to be doing knee bouncing songs. And the knee bouncing songs are, you know, gently going back and forth, or you just have them on your knee like this. And we're gonna do the first song, Mother and Father and Uncle John. Mother and Father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off. And Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on. Great. So when you sway your baby back and forth, that's actually not a bad thing because studies show that leaning your baby back and forth like this increases their balance. And by increasing their balance, you are increasing their mathematical abilities as well. So going back and forth leaning is not a bad thing. You may just want to wait till they've digested all their food before you keep bouncing and leaning baby back and forth and up and down. So let's do that song again. Mother and Father and Uncle John. Mother and Father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and Father fell off and Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on. Great! Now we're gonna do another bouncy song and this is called Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? The axles broke and we're tip baby over. The axles broke and let's tip baby over. The axles broke. And we tip baby over, won't you be my darling? Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Great, perfect. Babies have so much fun with these kind of songs. So let's do another song, and it's called The Grand Old Duke of York. The, and I'm going to actually, this could be a song that you could sing with baby on your knee. I'm going to be lifting baby up and down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. Because when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. Let's do that again. The mighty Duke of York, 
he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Cause when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Wonderful, great. Now let's do another song with driving in my car. And we're just gonna drive and have fun with this song. And it goes like this. So here's my car, beep, beep, right? Are you gonna have baby driving like this? I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving in my car. Now let's go fast. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very fast. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very fast. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very fast. Now we're gonna go slow. I'm driving very slow. I'm driving very slow. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very slow. I'm driving very slow. I'm driving very slow. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very slow. Excellent. So it doesn't matter how you read to your baby, how you sing to your baby. Your baby doesn't know the tunes of these songs. You can make them up as you go. Like I said, it's all in, what's important is that you read to your baby. And if you don't feel comfortable singing, that doesn't matter either because in your baby's ears, your voice is magical and beautiful. So continue to sing and read to your baby. Like I said, we have baby story time. We don't have it year round. So you'll have to call San Bruno Library to find out when the next baby story time will be. So we want to end it with a nice, soft, gentle song. And we're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great, give yourselves a clap. Excellent, I hope to see you at the library. I hope to see your toddlers and your babies and you can bring them to any of the story times. All ages are welcome. So hope to see you at the library. Thanks, bye.